All right, real quick one. Um, F18 startup. It's pretty simple. Uh, first things first. Start on the right hand side. Battery on. Ejection seat armed. Flick these two to standby and CV respectively. INS is not finished on the Hornet, so you just need to flick the CV. That'll work. Won't won't kill anything. O box switched on. APU on. Green light here, right here. Wait for that to come online. So this is my kind of like my process. It's not the official process. It's not NATOP's official, but it works. It gets you in the air. Who cares, right? Failures don't exist in DCS unless you switch them on. I mean, if you're playing on the TTI or whatever, you're not going to get failures. It's just not enabled. Down here, your engine RPM over 20, uh, over 20 RPM. Right shift home. And that starts the engine up. Okay, I tend to go through and get the displays on by now, but one step at a time. Engine crank left. And you want the right one first because that is your hydraulics. That, the right engine powers the hydraulics in the SL car. Left engine over 20%, off we go. Master caution, go away, no one likes you. At this point, because we've got the hydraulics going, set your backup ADI and your radar altimeter. Alright, both engines running. Control C for the canopy. MFDs, these little buttons right at the top there, these control them. Hard brightness is this knob, turn that all the way up. And we're coming online. You can take the APU off because we don't need it anymore. Now the, these two MFDs will automatically come to these two pages from right from the get-go. This here is your warning line. So this is it, instead of having a massive um, panel here that tells you what you need um, what you need to address, it'll come up on the left hand side of the MFD. So here it says flaps off, aileron off and FCS, so that means we have to reset the FCS button. So here, tap that a few times, clears that error. Come over onto the right hand side, FCS MC, master control, I believe that's what it's called. I don't know, I haven't finished this part. Hold down the Y key, that is your, you have to look down here, that's your FCS bit switch. Hold that down, press FCS. So FCS is now in test, which means Aircraft would be wiggling around all this little. There we go. Testing all the uh, surfaces, control surfaces, except for the ones that are up there. But whatever. It doesn't matter in DCS right now. Alright, so as we can see, that's cleared, that's finished. Middle button here is always your return to menu. Think of it like an iPod home, or like a the old, oldie timey iPod button for your home. I think that that takes you back once you if you're in a if you're in a menu, head back, press that button, brings you back to the main page. You've got two pages here. You've got tactical, so your weapon employment and SA page and all that. Then you've got support. And on the support page, which is the one that comes up by default, bottom right here, FCS. Click that. And we want that on my, on our left hand side. Press the B key. They'll turn your stable. They'll put your stabilizers into a takeoff trim position. And as we come to the middle here, we want to turn our data link and IFF on. So this is on a UFC upfront controller. IFF, the IFF button, turn that on. Data link button, turn it on. It's that simple. All right, you just click the button, turn it on. Click the button, turn it on. That one's very important. You will end up killing. You will end up shooting down friendlies, and get shot down by everything if you do not turn that on. So make sure this one gets turned on every single time. Down the bottom here onto our middle display page. So this is our INS. So let's turn the map off. This is our INS readout. So like on the F16, how it's up there. In the Hornet, it's down on this page. It says OK. That, that 
that, that quality time, that counts down, it says it's okay. Come to our INS button here, switch for other, switch that to nav, and we're good to go. It's that simple. Right now, we can just undo the parking brake, get rid of the shocks, and you're good to go. You don't need to set up anything else. That's how you start up the Hornet. Uh, no, that's it. Radar switch, switch that to operational once you're in the air. Um, luckily, there are no deck two to fry with your ra radiation, so who cares? It's a simulation, not real life. So, oh, and before I forget, turn your RWR on. That's very, very, very important. And yep, so that's it. Hope that, hope that helps.